MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So, Cube Precision, tell me about the company, Neil. Yeah, it started in 2009. Uh, we started with just six staff, but we started to serve the automotive and the aerospace industries. So that's five years. That's yeah. looking around your machine shop today. That's a lot of growth and investment over a five-year period. Yeah, that's been the key to our success, really, and to our growth, is the investment in new machines and training and employing the right staff. And is that easy, employing the right staff? No, it's very difficult. Uh, it's a competitive market space. But uh, we, have a, we have a good facility, we have some good clients, and we have up-to-date machinery, which is always uh, assistance when we're trying to bring these stuff in. Well, when I look around your machine shop today, we visit loads of machine shops every month, and you're different. I mean, you've got some big capacity machines here. I note the DCX32, and 42, in fact. So you, you go for machines that are different, that are bigger. Is that because you're serving slightly different markets? or? Uh, not so much different markets, but the bigger end of, uh, of the automotive and aerospace markets. That's where we find our niche. So we can lift up to 35 ton, machine up to 5 metres. And our investment in the DCX42 recently is just pushing that boundary on with, with the bigger machining capacity again. So do you have much competition? There are two or three other people like us in the UK, particularly in the Midlands as well. Uh, but we are all under one site. We are continually investing and we believe that's what keeps us ahead of the game. And what about the future here at Cube? Well, what we're looking forward to doing is uh, investing in new machinery over the next couple of years, some more milling machines as well, but also we're looking for acquisitions as well, which can take us into new areas. So measurement and inspection are an important part of what you do here? Yeah, absolutely. For every new tool that we make or any modification that we make to any tool, we'll always bring the parts in here onto a, onto a fixture, check their dimensional quality, print out the report and send that electronically to the customer. Uh, what we've got here is a small tool room, so we lift up to five ton in weight here. This is where we assemble and make the smaller dies. Right. So this is an example of a part that you've machined here? Yes, this is in fact a drawn shell that's come off of this tool. Uh, this is part of a, a draw tool for one of our automotive customers. Is that actually a machine finish? It's very close to the machine finish. Uh, some of the corners will have been polished out by hand, but in the whole, yes, that's a machine finish. And what machine was that done on? That was on the new Herco DCX42. And in terms of the the pro or, or the machining on this, did you do this on, on the machine, the programming, or off on your Dellcam no, this, system? No, this is done offline on the Dellcam system. So where are we going into now then, Neil? We're now in the 35 tonne shop. And so 35 tonne shop, is that, what does that mean? It means we can lift up to 35 tonne on our crane in here. Okay. But okay. Uh, also machine up to five metres and press up to a thousand tonnes. So this is where you've got the biggest machines in the company? Yeah, the biggest ones here are the DCX42, just over my shoulder, and also the 32. So looking round um, this shop mill, there's a, a lot of variety in the size and type of part in here. Yeah. You, you do lots of different work then, by the way. We do. We do, uh, we do not only new press tools, but we do modifications and repairs to other tools as well, if they're broken, for example. But also we do subcontract machining. Uh, for titanium and inconel and aluminium as well. And do you run these machines on a double shift basis or are they just... We're just... 24 hours a day, five days a week. Uh, they, we have four people running them at night, but we try and get as many working unmanned as possible. So Neil, on evidence, obviously it's been a fantastic first five years for the company. What do you see happening over the next five years? Well, what we really want to do is consolidate our position as one of the leading press tool makers in the UK. We want to extend that reach over to Europe as well and probably North America. Continue investment in machine tools and also look at acquisitions. Well, I've had a fantastic time here today. It's been a, it's been a really good insight into your business and I wish you all the success for the future. Thanks a lot, Neil. Thank you very much. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.